Okay, so um, here we have the problem. This is the collapsing bridge on this Gibson Les Paul BFG from 2006. Um, probably you can see that the bridge is actually collab collapsing right there. I don't know how well it's visible on here, but I would assume that it's, you can see it a little bit. Now we're going to take the strings off. We're going to investigate this and solve the problem and go through how you can do to prevent the bridge to collapse. You know, this is a quite common problem. Uh, I didn't no notice this because my guitars is not tuned to E. They are, in some cases, heavily tuned down. So most of my guitars doesn't really have very much pressure on here anyway. So let me go ahead and check this. Oh yeah, this is really bad. You want to see that? I don't know how well this is picking up, but... It is for sure collapsing. So, you know, this is... Uh, you know, this is critical actually, because you, you don't, uh, with the bridge collapse like this, you don't have the correct radius here anymore, which can cause fret buzz and all that kind of stuff. Now, I did a fret leveling on this guitar. I would not imagine that um, that's, that's the problem anymore. Um, I've seen worse collapsed bridges than this, this one, so, you know, I would not suggest to go ahead and try to bend this in this direction again, because once it's bent, the, it, you shouldn't do that. So you can see that, where's the focus? You can see that, that the saddles, uh, the saddles, there's no very much difference between these saddles right here. So. Now this should be a radius right there, suitable for the Les Paul. Well, this is a genuine Gibson bridge. I happen to have a lot of bridges, but I could only find two that is black finish. And uh, Gibson bridges or Yes, this is not cheap knockoff bridges. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and see. They are both used bridges, but they are not collapsed. As you can see, they are straight and good to go. And I would assume they fit perfectly on the posts here, which they of course do. It's a little wobbling around here, but even this one does that. So, since this is a Gibson Bridge 2, it's a little bit wobbling. Here I have a Tone Pro Bridge, which is even more wobbly, but I do have the post as well. So, but I'm not going to go with the Tone Pro, I'm going to go with the Gibson bridge right here and I noticed when I bought this guitar second hand that there was some strange things going on on the intonation here. Now I double checked this and um, the intonation seems to be right but this is not what you typically see on a Gibson bridge. This is 
uh, what you typically see on a Gibson bridge. You know, all the saddles, all the way back. Mm, uh, that's not really good. Even though, of course, if you want the saddles to go even more back, you can flip the saddles individually. In that case, you will get uh, probably two or three more millimeters. So I need to pay some attention and try to, you know, mimic this bridge here to the collapsed bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Now let's see what we have to work with. This is the collapsed bridge right here. This is the Tone Pro bridge. As you can see, um, we need to get the saddles a little bit further down. Of course, we're going to intonate the guitar again, but I want to get as close as possible. And um, I'm going to do some. I'm going to do some things here to determine what's good and what's not. So, putting back this one right here. And we're gonna put the strings back just as loose as we can to begin with. Okay, so I have the Tone Pro bridge on here. And it's, um, I put on the strings here. Uh, also had to use a file like this to make a little notch here not very much just a tiny tiny little bit just so that the string has a little groove to to rest in so if you take away too much material here now that's gonna ruin this whole thing here so There we go. Now we gotta pay attention to the angle here because when you normally have your guitar tuned to E, there's a lot of pressure on this bridge right here. Now this angle right here, that's what I call a breaking angle right here. Um, in, in my opinion, this angle should not be more than the angle of the headstock up here. You know, that's maybe nonsense for some of you. And I'm not really sure if it makes any sense. But in this case, uh, try to avoid getting a collapsed bridge. I would say you need to go ahead and raise the tailpiece here. Uh, of course, that can, uh, you know, uh, as a result of raising the tailpiece, there could be some less sustain in the body here. Um, so if you want to have the tailpiece bolted down all the way to the body, you can always go ahead and wrap the string around the tailpiece to get even less angle right here. That's a very good thing to do. But of course you will get wear on the tailpiece that is not very pleasant. In my case, the breaking angle is not very much, but I still gonna go ahead and raise the tailpiece even a little bit more. And you should go ahead and do this uh, when you don't have too much tension on the strings here, because when you have the tension on here, there's gonna be a lot of wear and this is going to be harder to do. So you see the strings is all flapping around. It's uh, easy to adjust this. And I'm going to go ahead and take up this a little bit. And uh, I think this is the best way to get as less angle as possible and less pressure as possible on the bridge here. So I'm going to go ahead and tune up the guitar. I'm going to have a look at the, um, the intonation. That part is not a part of this video, 
the whole idea of this video is to uh, is show you uh, how you can do to avoid a collapsed bridge because this bridge right here is really collapsed it's uh it's it's really bad actually so i would say that the four saddles here in the middle are at the very same height right there and they shouldn't be that so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and tune up the guitar now so i tuned up the guitar i checked the intonation and it the intonation is almost spot on so i will play the guitar a little bit and do some more adjustments on the intonation here anyway you know the conclusion about this to avoid the very collapsed gibson bridge right here is always make sure that you don't have too much anger right here because if you do that will cause tension a lot of pressure uh, in the middle of the bridge here because the breaking angle is too high to solve this problem you can raise the tailpiece quite a bit actually if you feel that raising the tailpiece will take away some of the sustain of the guitar body you can always bolt the tailpiece down fully to the body and use the tailpiece as kind of like a wrap around you know you're putting in the string this direction and wrap it around like this because if you're wrapping the string around you have almost no break break angle at all you know it's gonna be uh, just a little bit and the string is coming into the saddle a lot smoother so wrapping the strings around here you know that's actually in some cases a good thing to do especially if you want to keep the tailpiece bolted down to the body in my case i raised the bridge here quite a bit actually to get a less breaking angle to the compared to the saddles here now that's how you prevent uh, this bridge uh, uh, gibson bridge right here to collapse because if the bridge collapses i don't know how well this is seen here but you can see the four saddles in the middle is almost the same height because the bridge has collapsed as you can see quite a lot actually so um doing it this way that i just mentioned that's gonna help prevent the uh, bridge to collapse also it's gonna when the bridge is collapsed even just a tiny little bit that will cause us some buzz here on the strings and uh, you don't want to have you know fret buzz is maybe okay if it's just a tiny little bit and you're always playing distortion and need this very super low string action but you know when you're playing chords and all that kind of stuff you don't want any string buzz so making sure that the bridge is not collapsed is absolutely very good uh, because you know it comes a lot of trouble when the bridge is collapsing.